Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and as well Scorpio Rising. Weekly General Tarot reading January 4th to January 10th, 2021. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to see a link to my website and at the very, at the very front page of this uh, website, you are to see the full list of my services and as well their prices. So with that being said, let's move to our, and I'm saying our because I'm Scorpio as well, our week January 4th to January 10th, 2021. And the first card we start with, that is going to be the Sun card. So at the start of the week, we are going to feel in the prime of our strengths here. Now the Sun points that whatever we are doing at the start of this week, has a, a tremendous, tremendous potential to grow. The Sun card does, ex does describes these expanding energies of growth and it does describes the inevitable success of our doings should we not abandon those doings, okay? We just have to keep up with the, uh, with the situation and with the development. Now, the development is gonna go its natural course, which means that it's not going to be always ideal, okay? It's just is gonna follow its natural course and we have to pretty much stick with it. Additionally to that, with the Sun card, guys, we can expect that some um, interactions that we do have with friends, for example, or say with our business partners, even with our beloved ones that are a little bit on the edge in the sense of that we are in a confrontation, uh, those confrontations are to be uh, are to abate because with the sun card we pretty much are going to bury the hatchets there, all right, and we are going to settle for certain peace, certain compromise as well. Um, at that point, also we are going to, like I said, feel the prime of our strengths. That is because we are to feel uh, a, a vital energies streaming to us through us. Now, when it comes to interactions with other people. And we do have the sun card. Important thing to know it is that you have to contribute for the other person happiness. Simply make your husband or a wife happy and that will make you happy as well. Make your boss happy and you are gonna be happy also. Make your friends happy and they are gonna make you happy in return. So that is how the happiness is gonna work for us into the week January 4th up to January 10th. 2021. So selfishness, it is not ideal here at all, which is something that goes against my belief and beliefs. But hey, it is what Taro says. That is because I think that if you don't do anything for your own happiness, no one else will. But the lesson of the Sun card pretty much disapproves me into it. Uh, the other card that we do have, what follows after that, it is the Two of uh, Pentacles. So based on this uh, expanding energies of growth and that's, uh, how can I say, natural developments that is gonna make us quite happy and quite optimistic for the future, what follows after it is that we are to see that some concepts and some, how can I say, beliefs, if you will, that we held on held onto up until that point, January 4th to 10th, they are pretty much outdated, okay? And they are not serving us any, any favor whatsoever. Uh, we have to pretty much replace them with a new concepts that are reciprocal to the new time that we are entering into. So you can, uh, we can expect that after we are experiencing this, how can I say, expanding energies of growth at the start of the week, we are to see certain or pick point certain aspects of our daily routine, of our plans as well, that are quite unnecessary and we're gonna change them with something that is way more proficient. And I'm talking about a very minor, slightest and small changes, which as they combine together are gonna make our plans for the future, or our plans for the week itself, or the plans in general, how to reach certain destination or to accomplish certain thing, uh, not entirely different, but way, way, way more effective. At that point also, as people see the Two of Pentacles, that you are doing more than one thing at a time, that, is, that could be kind of true, 
because the two of pentacles implies that we have to be very adaptable but doesn't necessarily mean that we have to be uh, adaptable with two things doing at once we just have to be adaptable in regards to our plans what i said right now that we shouldn't be uh, stubborn about how we want to do something but just go by its natural development okay and see what kind of an aspect of our plan does not re reciprocate with the natural development and change it okay so uh, moving next we do have the four of uh, wands and as soon as we change the outdated concepts with new concepts that are in tune of uh, the uh, natural development of our situation which could be our relationship which could be our career friendship etc etc the thing that makes us happy we are to reach a uh, uh, successful finalization of important cycle of development this ain't an ending okay that is reaching the point where our slog our struggle our toils are finally bearing fruit this is where the point where we are finally with the person we chased this is the point where we finally get our promotion Okay, this is the point where we finally sign the paper we need. This is the point that where we finally sign the a big contract for us. That is where we jump into the next level. And that is because we, uh, how can I say, we um, acknowledge the important details into the situation and we did everything we could to the best of our abilities to to resolve, solve, or in generally attend to those important details, like I said, to the best of uh, to the best of our abilities. Four of Wands. It is like, um, if I have to give an example, it's like a solid plan that we may had, which plan now can be executed into action. It's like a solid preparations, and those preparations are giving a, a tremendous foundation for building up our home, house domain in generally but you need to take it that way it is that at this point the 4th of january we are going to be just at the end you know of of our struggle and the only thing that it is to be left there is to change our uh, concepts of the situation and as we do so we can uh, pretty much change these aspects of our plan which are outdated and as we do so things are just going to happen. Moving next, after that, we do have the King of Cups and that is an individual that steps in, all right, into the situation. That could be someone we know or it could be someone brand new. But the King of Cups, now th this, is, this card plays out very differently if we're talking about relationship or if we're talking about career, okay? I can't go general with this one. So should that be career, this is a very tempting offer coming in either for a project private business okay or a uh, a helping hand that comes about helping you to bring your business off the ground for example it, in generally take it as a uh, either helping hand or a very tempting offer why it is th this person in term of career exceptional professionalist and they pretty much see a a, a huge how can i say not just only potential here into you Scorpio or into us but it does see our worth as well they see that siding with us for example hiring us for something all right or for example giving us an opportunity they see it as the only uh, professional decision they can make in regards to us now should that be in terms of, of relationship that is a person stepping in who divulges their true emotions these are emotions that they have held into for such a long time okay and they never found the right moment to uh, to pretty much tell us how they feel and now as we do finalize that cycle they see us happy you know they they pretty much they did something that contributes for our happiness and we did something that contributes for their happiness that that person finds that now is the right moment towards the end of this week january 4th to january 10th they step into and pretty much tells us how they feel what we are going to do with that well that depends entirely on us moving next we do have the five of pentacles 
And Five of Pentacles points that after this person either give us an, an opportunity uh, or helping us or sh pretty much showing how they feel, we are going to realize that it is not that simple to either take on the opportunity, the helping hand or be in a relationship with this individual. Okay, there are many, I can't even say obstacles, all right? There, there are a lot of trifles out there that, is, that are sitting on our path. And while they are trifles, they're pretty much at all fronts. And uh, we have to delay this cooperation for a little while until those trifles are resolved. And uh, they can be resolved only through a sheer determination and strong mental mental capabilities okay panicking it is the last thing we we want here or uh scratching it for um, uh, how do you say it scratching the whole thing f for a failure as well we pretty much have to mobilize at that point recognize where those small issues are to be and do something about it with that king of cups that we are going to have. So for example, if that's somebody that um, divulges their emotions to us, uh, true emotions, okay? Uh, maybe they are in a current relationship, maybe they do have a children that first needs to get the hang with us and so on and so forth. If that's a person that comes about with the uh, proposition, you know, that proposition, it could be um, for a, uh, how can I say, uh, for a project that it has a lot of difficulties with it, a lot of problems as well. Uh, it could be a proposition that involves we need to have a certain qualification that we need to obtain, so it will be delayed. So it's not going to be in the ideal time, it is what I am trying to say, but nonetheless, uh, it's, it is there to stay and it is ours. So we have to pretty much focus on what it is how can I say, uh, deteriorating that uh, that proposition or this potential relationship and start resolving these small issues one by one. But panicking and just saying that it's way too much of a hassle, it should not be our option available. Uh, or it shouldn't, be, it shouldn't be an option that we should consider. So that being said, Scorpio, this was our uh, general weekly tarot reading, January 4th to January 10th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, just as much as I did. And uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.